Hi there, my name is Tanner and welcome to Tech Hound, both the shop and the YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm out here and I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick tour of my shop and kind of tell you what it is I do here. And uh, Gracie here and Ferguson inside are going to be helping me along the way. So uh, if you like the video, I hope you like and subscribe. Uh, I plan on uh, trying to upload a lot more videos about what I do here. Um, to give you the lowdown, I basically help people with technology and all kinds of stuff like that. So someone's coming on a hoverboard, so I'm going to cut it short, but I'll tell you more inside. Told you. Alright, so if you ever come into my shop, this is what you're going to see. Um, this is my front entryway, and as you saw from the uh, first video there, this is also the Bassett sunbathing room. Oh, here comes Fergus to help. Fergus is here to help, don't worry guys. Hi Fergus, hi Fergus. Oh, and now I pet one of them, so now Gracie's coming. Quick scratch, but yeah, so uh, this is basically where I welcome people in. And uh, you can see my uh, wall of dogs back here and one honorable mention for the cat. Um, but yeah, this is uh, where just the first stage of stuff happens. And yeah, that's about it. There's not, the, most of the exciting stuff I feel like at least is back there, but uh, I come up here and, uh, and just welcome people to the shop. You can kind of see up here, uh, this is uh, not a computer. <laughs> this is just a, cheap monitor, cheap keyboard and everything. There's no computer here. And I actually bring my Chromebook from the back and I bring it up here uh, whenever a customer walks in. I, I really saved me a bit on cost. And as far as functionality goes, like I really don't need a full blown computer up here. It's easy enough for me to just grab my computer from the back, bring it up here with me. And I am right on Main Street here. And so I just didn't want to put anything out on this table that's going to invite people to, uh, check it out when I'm not here, to say it nicely. But as people are checking their computers in, I enter their information and just kind of talk with them about their computer problems and uh, the whole process. So I try to be very transparent with people. And I know technology and specifically IT can be one of those things that people don't really know what they're getting into. And I've heard some horror stories of people just raking people over the coals. But I try not to do that. Uh, I always am transparent with what stuff's gonna cost and if it's gonna be more than I told you it was gonna cost, I'll give you a call. But I'm kind of getting off the rails there, but uh, I did wanna show you that and you also see my, uh, my personal decorations over here and uh, including the uh, very regal portrait of Fergus. And uh, yeah, I did all the decorating myself for the most part. I had some wifely and uh, family help on some of the more cosmetic things, but everything you see that's nerd stuff, that's all mine. So I don't want to give them any credit for that, but <laughs> but uh, let's go on back and uh, I'll show you my favorite part, which is the workstation. So yeah. Hope this microphone's working. So it's on. All right, so let's kind of move on here to the back and this is my workplace setup so i've basically cobbled together a bunch of different desks to make sort of one desk and i'll bring you around to each station and sort of talk with you about what i kind of use that space for but basically i've got different workspaces i work on all the computers and everything back here for the most part um, and I even have my uh, old record player there that uh, I fixed, that a customer was nice enough to give me. And of course my uh, come on in banner. <laughs> and I've got my uh, nice corner couch for sitting. And I always joke that uh, if I ever need more work to do, I just lay down on that couch for a few seconds and someone will walk in the door every time, so. <sighs> Yeah, this couch is mostly for the bass hounds, but every once in a while it gets used by multiple people if I have people back in here with me and 
mostly talking, honestly. I was actually paid by a customer at this couch. Um, <laughs> and so uh, in case you're getting any ideas, I do not accept couches as forms of payment. As you can see, I am full up on, uh, on couches at the moment. I actually had to rearrange this whole space when I got this couch because it did not fit at all. And so if you look, if you're ever here, you'll kind of see basically everything is set up as a slave to this couch. This couch was put here first and then I kind of designed everything around it. But I know Gracie doesn't have any problems with uh, the couch being here, that's for sure. Oh, Gracie. Yeah. But yeah, I, I've got a pretty good workflow set up that's kind of optimized for what I do. And Vector here helps me out. Don't you do it. Well, he's on the table and he's gone to code it. So this is sort of my main workflow area. And by that, I mean, it's my Chromebook that I use to do all my Google searching. <laughs> I joke with people that, yeah, there's, there's a certain amount of experience that comes with it, but really I'm just a good Googler. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've got my Pixelbook set up here. It's connected to my monitor and I got my mouse and keyboard, and this is basically where I do most of my paperwork. Anything that's to do with company business usually happens on this computer. Um, I've really been into Chromebooks lately. I used to make fun of them relentlessly <laughs> when they first came out, and I always thought I'd have a Windows computer uh, as my work computer, but actually this uh, Chromebook has been working out for me pretty nice. Um, I've got my, you probably can't see it back here, but there's a, uh, a little shelf right here and it connects it with this space over here, which is where I do a lot of my uh, teardowns and anything like that that involves disassembly. Um, it's a taller bench, so it's a little bit easier for me to work at. I've also got my uh, tripod set up here. Um, it's a flexible arm so I can bring the camera in and kind of show you guys what I'm, what I'm working on. That's uh, what I found to be the main uh, difficulty uh, filming what I do is just getting the camera in the right position so you can see what it is I'm talking about. But this arm has really made it uh, pretty useful and Vector has free roam of the uh, desk space over there. But uh, yeah, you'll probably see this area over here a lot in a lot of my videos because that's where most of the heavy lifting, I would say, comes into play. That's pretty much it for this area. Um, let me bring you over here to my, uh, my basically my cloning machine, we'll call it. <laughs> All right, so over here we have my uh, cloning station. And the majority of the use I get out of this is um, whenever I do work on a client's computer and I think there's even the slightest chance of hardware failure when it comes to a hard drive, I will pull the hard drive out, put it on this machine, and let it do a full copy of that computer. Um, I always tell people I can replace just about any part of your computer. Um, sometimes it's not fiscally the best choice, but I can do it. The thing I cannot replace is data. So I'm very cautious about people's data, and I always make a backup of it if I can help it. Because, I mean, so I've, I've been in this industry for a while, and I've had some nightmares of just data loss where... Uh, oh, it's just always a better idea to have a backup of people's data. So that's what I do on this machine mostly. Um, I have my security cameras pulled up on a bunch of my computers as well. It's mostly just like if I hear uh, someone come in the front door, I like to glance up and see who it is before I head up there. Or if someone pulls up in the back, um, I want to be able to check and see who it is. So um, you can see I have my cameras pulled up on just about every screen, no matter which way you look. Someday I might go through some of the different programs I use uh, for, to make those backups. But um, yeah, this computer is just a custom built machine. It's running Windows 10. It's, it's nothing fancy. The only real fancy thing it has is a USB 3.1 card that's plugged into that hub back there in this dock, just to give me the fastest transfer rate I can when I'm making these backups. Um, that being said, it still usually takes at least an hour, depending on how big someone's drive is filled up. But uh, what else? You can kind of see some of my tools and decorations and blah, all that stuff. Everything's kind of busy, but um, yeah, I actually rearranged this recently and I'm always changing stuff as I get new parts and equipment. 
a lot of times uh, I'll either have stuff donated to me or I mean I buy stuff. I'm, I'm always adding and changing this space and I'm sure if if you guys uh, stick with me here you'll see a lot of changes uh, over the years. It's already changed so much from when I first moved into this space but uh, it, it's definitely been pretty functional for me. I definitely like it. Let me take you over here uh, and just show you this side of the room over a little bit. Oh. So this here is uh, the first computer I ever built for myself, actually. It's a very interesting combination of hardware, we'll say. But um, it, it's held out for a long time. It's honestly, I think it's like 10 years old now, last I checked. And it's gone through a bunch of different iterations. It started off as a gaming computer um, and has been everything in between. Now uh, I usually use it for editing this video, for example. But it also runs my main security cameras here and uh, I, use, I use it every once in a while for some other stuff. It's also got a hard drive dock on the top here, so sometimes it's handy when I just need to access someone's data quickly to throw it in here. It's by far the most powerful computer I have back here. That sound you just heard, actually, is um, the sound of motion being detected from one of the cameras I have it set up as. So, um, yeah, you can see I, I, this keeps going all the way down here, and of course we have the most important function of this desk, which is to give Fergus somewhere to lay during the day and keep an eye on me and make sure that uh, I'm still doing what I'm supposed to. So this is, this is the supervisor's desk right down here. Hard work for a buzz hound. Here I have most of my tools and I have flash drives with all kinds of stuff, Mac operating systems, Windows operating systems, tech tools. All kinds of good stuff, remotes for my TV, screwdrivers, tweezers, all the little finicky delicate parts that come into play when you're working on computers. And of course my big bucket of uh, spare screws that keeps filling up and I keep having to empty randomly, but of course the all important Lego set I have to put together. Maybe I'll maybe I'll videotape me doing that. I also want to show you back here too. So these are uh, these are actually going out soon. These are going to be recycled. And back here we have what I call the boneyard. And this is just computers and parts and everything in between. And sometimes I can draw some stuff out from back here. And other times it's a uh, it just seems like it's a mess. Um, I'll, sometimes I'll refurbish these machines for people, but a lot of times they just end up used for parts and I have all my boxes which are a mess right now. Come on, focus. 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 Do it. Do it. You're a good girl. Yeah. You're a good girl. Don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. Oh, you're a good girl. Oh, you're not stretching. Oh, you're a good girl. Oh, you're a good girl. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the shop. I um, hope you found it slightly entertaining and maybe even a little bit informative. But if you want to see anything else, just let me know. Um, I hope to bring you along on some of my, uh, my future endeavors. And... Uh, and I'm sure Gracie will be here along the way, huh? Oh, just a crazy girl. Oh, just a crazy girl.